explanation. Yeah. You know. And this beautiful, beautiful nude, <laughs> the reclining, familiar look in her boudoir with all her Voltaire volumes. And uh, would you like to talk about her? I would. The title of this is uh, Nadar's Mistress. And of course, he was the wonderful French photographer, and he was a balloonist. and. Uh, and uh, I, I, I love his photography, I love his association and writings about so many of the other artists uh, during his era. Uh, so, uh, but this painting was also an attempt uh, to uh, not be as rigid in staying in the lines. Um, I think maybe I had a, a, a kindergarten teacher or a first grade teacher that would slap my hands every time I would go outside the lines in coloring books. So I decided that I would go outside the lines. I, 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 I tried to, but it always had a messy look and it just didn't seem to be me. So what I did is I drew lines outside of my stencil lines and I painted very carefully to them. So you see that I have painted outside the lines, but it still is in a very controlled sort of way. But it's well, uh, I, I humorous to me. Uh, Leger often did that with his series of builders, you know, yes. where he would be uh, background primary colors often did not correspond to the black outline. But they're very controlled outside they're very the lines. Controlled, right. yes. Yes, yes. This this bed is not Nadar's bed, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bed, and. Uh, my great-grandparents bought that on their uh, honeymoon in Niagara, New York, and had it shipped on a flat car with their name in black ink on the back of it, along with some other furniture that matches. My grandmother and my father were born in that bed, so. It's very sensual painting, very sensual. Not only because she's a, a naked lady, but just the way the, the uh, glamour and love of uh, form and uh, uh, the budding together of these very sexy colors. It's very beautiful. Well, you might notice that, that uh, violet is one of my primary colors. <laughs> I do not co consider that as a secondary. Uh, speaking of violet, the next two paintings uh, of which conclude our uh, discussion here, perhaps you can talk about them together uh, as a group. Uh, I haven't done many paintings along these lines. I, uh, I took a subject of the uh, Turkish harem, and the, the name of the painting is Odalesque One and Odalesque Two. Oda being room in Turkey, and Odalesque meaning females in a room. It's come to think more of a reclining nude, you know, but it's uh, and so henceforth the, uh, the the tile symbolized in there and the and the. Uh, uh, arches and so on. Uh, these are the uh, uh, the ladies in the in the harem of which I've uh, uh, tried to just bring down to uh, to symbols of them. Now, when you say ladies, uh, these very sensuous shapes uh, are kind of a shorthand for uh, breasts and hips and shoulders, and exactly. is that right? Exactly. I mean, for instance, you know, here's hair, you know, uh, circles being breast, and, uh, you know, so I think you can find the forms in there, but I, I didn't want them to be individual personalities. I wanted them to be a, a cluster of, uh, of uh, femininity. Well, you know, I'm reminded of the famous uh, painting by uh, Ang, uh, Jean-Dominique Ang, yes. of the, the Turkish bath, yes. and how sensuous the round forms are. And if one were to do an abstraction of that painting, it would probably look very much like this. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing about the, about the uh, Ang's painting, so he said it was extremely important to follow nature exactly, not to change nature at all. But he he uh, he did act, uh, add an, uh, two more vertebrae in the neck. <laughs> he said that's the way it should have been. So uh, he corrected uh, nature. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Now the uh, signal piece of the show with the poster here. Uh, would you like to discuss this uh, animal? 
Uh, I did a series of works, uh, uh, this being uh, one of, of a series uh, on the dog, and I did another one as a, a still life series, and I did another uh, seated female uh, series, and it was in homage to Cezanne. Uh, I think we have a reoccurring theme here, where it's the history of art and so on. But, uh, it, the first dog was very realistic. The second dog uh, was this dog. The third dog is even more geometric, taking the idea of Cezanne that all form is made up of the cylinder, the cone, and the sphere. And uh, So that's the idea of this, and, it, and the title is The Dog, and in parentheses, geometry. <laughs> Well, Paul, I want to thank you very much for taking us on a walking tour of the well, gallery. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you, Arthur. And, and let's hope for a re uh, renewal of uh, the show, perhaps at the Louvre, very soon. Okay. <laughs> I think you have to be dead to be in the Louvre, Arthur. Well, we'll try and rearrange things. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.